Hi everyone, Lauren here again getting ready for the total solar eclipse on April 8th. So with that in mind, I have another fun fact for you. Did you know that the sun has moods that last 11 years? That's right, I'm talking about the solar cycle. This is basically like the magnetic heartbeat of our sun. The cycle begins with the solar minimum, where there's not a lot of activity on the sun, like those sunspots and flares that we talked about last week, and eventually ends in a solar maximum, where the sun is at a point of heightened activity with lots of flares and sunspots. And each cycle concludes with the flipping of the sun's magnetic poles. That means that the north magnetic pole becomes south and vice versa. This can affect everything from weather patterns on Earth to our communication. And lucky for us, the sun is nearing a solar maximum, meaning that the corona that we'll see during totality on April 8th will look even more striking. And speaking of April 8th, we have a steady live stream coming up, and our friend Athena Brensberger will be joining us from the path. So let's check in. Hello, Eclipse lovers. My name is Athena Brensberger. I am an astronomer and science communicator. I make educational content on my page, Astro Athens, and I'm going to be in the path of totality. I'm so excited. I will be staying at a cabin in the woods and viewing the eclipse in Dallas, Texas. I am so, so excited for this. I'm gonna be live streaming it um, on Instagram. I'm also going to have my telescope, my unistellar telescope viewing it as well. It's going to be so epic. So I am so excited for this. Um, and I hope you guys get to view the eclipse. Make sure you get some eclipse glasses soon. You don't want to be without them during the eclipse. Alrighty, bye everyone. I've got one more fun fact for you next time, just in time for the eclipse. See you then.